Hi, my name is Chris Stoddard. I am a Deer Extension Master Gardener volunteer. Now, do you want a plant that is popular, easy to grow, and great for beginning gardeners? The spider plant, sometimes called airplane plant, Chlorophytum chromosum, is the plant you should bring home. This was one of my first house plants. Spider plant is an excellent indoor plant. Native to South America, it is an evergreen perennial that can be used in hanging baskets or pots. When plants are full, they have an interesting, graceful, cascading habit. They last about five years or more, depending on if the plantlets are propagated. Many researchers have concluded that this plant does clear the air of airborne pollutants. Spider plant within the first year will begin sending out stems that produce small white flowers. Little plantlets then develop on the end of the stems, creating the cascading effect. These plantlets, when mature, can be easily propagated. Spider plant prefers bright to moderate light. Direct sunlight will tend to burn the leaves. It does best in average room temperature between 65 and 75 degrees year round. If taken outside during the summer, be sure to bring it back in before temperatures dip below 55 degrees. In the spring and summer, you should keep the soil lightly moist. Do not overwater. When the temperatures begin to cool down in the fall and winter, allow the surface to dry out between watering. In the spring and early summer, feed your spider plant every two weeks with a balanced houseplant fertilizer mixed to half the normal amount. In the fall and winter, feed it once a month or less. When repotting your plant, any good container potting soil works well. If your plants are grown in six inch pots, they may need to be repotted every other year. The plantlets at the end of the stems should be potted in the spring. If the roots on the plantlets are adequate, you can place them in damp potting soil. Otherwise, set little pots beside the mother plant and sink your little plantlets into the soil so that the root buds are barely covered using a small stone or paper clip to hold the plantlets in place. They should develop roots in two to three weeks. Then you can cut the stems from the mother plant. The spider plant selection features are a little limited. You have one with all green leaves and they are becoming increasingly difficult to find. The most common and popular are the green with cream striping and green with white striping. Spider plants are susceptible to root rot if waterlogged and also bacterial leaf spot. Be sure to let the plant dry out between watering and remove any excess water. Also, try to avoid wetting the leaves, watering the soil rather than the whole plant. White flies, spider mites, scales, and aphids, they're all common problems in house plants. Be sure to check the leaves frequently. Spray the plant with insecticidal soap or horticultural oil following the directions to be sure it is safe to use on your plant. Now leaf tips turn brown from too little water, too low humidity, and or too much salts and an excess of fluorides in the water. If it is due to excess salts or contaminants in the water, use rainwater, filtered water, or distilled water as an alternative. Flush the soil well 
with the new water to leach out the toxic substances and any excess fertilizer buildup. Now, of course, the foliage will also scald if placed in direct sun. To tidy up the plant, all you need is scissors to cut off the dead tips. Spider plants add color and grace to any home. They are really a, an easy plant to have in your home. As I said earlier, this was one of my first plants and I loved it. Um, it lasted for oh, over 10 years before I find it had just overgrown any pot that I could put it in. If you have any questions about this plant or any gardening questions, call Ask a Master Gardener at 252-473-4290 or email us at greenlineobx at gmail.com. Thank you for listening.